Hey guys, how's it going? I hope your day is going great. This is going to be um, kind of an unexpected video. I wasn't really planning to stumble across the things that I'm going to talk about in this video, but I'm really glad I found them. Um, there's a new store in my area called Five Below. I don't know how many of you have one of those in your town, but um, the concept is that everything in the store is $5 or less. So I was going into it thinking it would be more like kind of a Dollar General type experience, you know, just a little bit of everything in there and I really went in there to see if they had any sort of selection of beauty products so I did find some of that stuff but on the whole I found it to be a store that I think is really geared toward kids and really the kinds of things that I would classify as impulse buys you know like they had a small-ish beauty section they had a lot of summery outdoor type stuff they had a section of like crafts and do-it-yourself kind of home craft kits I guess. Some electronic type things were in there. A nice selection of candy. In fact, I don't know how long the Junior Caramels or Junior Caramels have been around, but these are awesome. Um, definitely a success. But now that we are out in our pool again, um, I definitely wanted to pick up some of the awesome floaty type things they had. They had for five bucks um, this donut inner tube, which I absolutely had to have. They had them with pink or chocolate frosting and also an inflatable unicorn inner tube. That was great. We have already been getting some good out of those items. I got some new goggles because I love swimming laps. That's like my favorite form of exercise. So that was some good stuff. And then as far as the beauty aisle, um, I remembered seeing like a bunch of sort of hair accessories, hair brushes, like a massive amount of hair brushes. And actually I picked up a couple of clips. These were, gosh, these are probably just a dollar. I am like always clipping my hair up into a bun and I'm using a clip like this size. It, it's always falling down. It's like, when am I going to learn that I need a bigger clip? So I got a couple of bigger clips. Tyler actually asked me to pick up a face wash, but they didn't have like a full skincare line there. There was just, you know, a few face scrubs here and there, but it wasn't like a full on, you know, drugstore type section of products, if you know what I mean. But these for $3, I thought were so cute. They're the Chap Ice Revo brand, but these are miniature. I thought they were so cute. They are in watermelon, strawberry, and cherry. And I know I like the watermelon flavor of these, but I thought, you know, I don't need these, but I thought I might like keep them in a guest bathroom at our house or something and somebody might want to use them. Again, with the impulse buys, it's hard to resist. Pardon me, one second. Mm. Gotta have the coffee this morning. And by the way, you guys would enjoy this shirt. Coffee, please. For makeup, they had the full selection of Wet n Wild products. Um, they also had quite a few different Profusion palettes. Like, those are the palettes that you see in at Walgreens. Usually around the holidays, they'll have some different ones. And I recognize some of those. Like, they have some naked-ish type palettes in that line. And so some of those were there. And then I ran across City Color. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, haven't I seen, you know, some YouTubers talking about this? Like, Bailey from Making Up the Midwest. West. And what I found was not the full line of City Color because I didn't see any lip products, but they had some different face palettes and eye palettes, so I just picked up a few different things. This is not like a huge beauty haul here, but I was just excited about this stuff and I wanted to share it with you, and it's probably the tip of the iceberg for what I want to end up ultimately trying from this brand. First thing, I don't know if you've caught a glimpse of my swatches here, but it's a palette that is a whole heck of a lot like the Naked palette. Let's show the palette first. It's called Barely Exposed. You can see this has totally been fashioned after the Naked palette. It's got the same amount of shades, a lot of the same tones in there. These colors are definitely smaller, I think, yeah, than my Naked palette. I have my Naked palette handy here, by the way, so you can see the size comparison. But, you know, there are a couple of matte shades in here, some shimmery shades, a couple of shades with some sparkle, and I swatched the City Color palette here on top. So you can see these actually have some decent pigmentation. I wasn't super impressed with the matte shades, which are here and here. They took a little work for building up on the eyes, but I found the metallic and shimmery shades to be quite soft, actually. And I think we might have a few shade for shade dupes here, but I think it's the thought that the overall color scheme, um, if you got this palette, you would pretty much be able to pull off the same kind of looks that you would get with the Naked palette. One thing definitely that's lacking in this City Color palette is a really good shade for Half Baked, which Half Baked is a great metallic gold, and the one in 
the city color palette right here is definitely more sheer. But I really was not expecting to find shades that were that pigmented. So I was happy with that and I'm wearing this on my eyes today, including a super dramatic lash. I think these are my Coco lashes in Misha. I've, I've worn these before, but I didn't remember them being quite this big. But I've got a little bit of this super shimmery shade like on the inner part of the lid. What else did I do? I put this kind of metallic taupey color all over the rest of the lid. Some of this darkest shade on my outer corner blended. A little bit of the matte brown, where's that? Right here in my crease. I also smudged a lot of this shade and the darkest shade on the lower lash line as well. But you know, totally workable look. These shades were really pretty easy to work with. Like I said, would have liked to have seen a little bit more out of the mattes. But really, it would be fun to do like one eye with naked palette, one eye with this and see if you guys could tell the difference. Another thing they had is this massive <laughs> bronzer, blush, and highlight palette. It's called Sunkiss Trio, and I have it in bronzed peach, and they had quite a few different color options here. Just to show you how big this is, like, I find certain Wet n Wild palettes to be kind of large, but this is definitely bigger than that. And I appreciate that in a palette like this, because if you're using a larger brush with your bronzer, let's say, you can totally fit it in there, no problem. So I am wearing this today, and allow me to quickly remove some swatches so I can and swatch these products. So you've got the peach blush, which comes off kind of matte, and then um, a satiny finish here with the bronzer and a highlight that's definitely pretty glowy. But there's a wonderful softness to these colors, particularly the bronzer and the highlight. I was really impressed with those. Um, the bronzer is kind of warm, as you can see, so it's definitely the kind of thing I'm using as a true bronzer, you know, kind of lightly all over the face to give my skin a little extra glow, and I like it that way. Nice bronzer for the body as well. It gives a nice kind of natural tan, little bit glowy look, but not too much. So did I say I'm only wearing the bronzer and the highlight from this kit, and then I wanted to uh, try out the matte blushes. Boom. They had even more of these than the ones I picked up. I'm totally wanting to go back for more. Not that I need any more blush, but I mean, these were awesome. I went with one shade that I thought looked kind of subtle and, you know, I wasn't sure what I would end up getting out of it. And then one that looked really bright to kind of see what this blush line was made of. Um, so this bright one is called Dragon Fruit and very smooth, not a bit of shimmer in this, just a totally bright, cool pink blush. And then the one I'm wearing today is this shade called Blackberry. And this seemed rather cool to me as well, almost verging on a neutral type of blush. And here's a swatch of that, and I think it still looks pretty, you know, true to the color in the pan just in that swatch. But on my cheeks, I thought it really warmed up quite a bit more. This is the shade I'm wearing today, and it seemed a lot more like warm and rosy than I was expecting. So this color sheared out is a little bit different experience than what you're looking at here just in the solid product. But overall, these are so soft, you know, such bright, bold types of blushes. They had a lot of pretty coral shades, um, definitely some other tones I would be interested in. Just really pleased with everything I picked up from City Color. So that really prompted me to want to hop on and just share this video with you. If you've got a Five Below store, you might want to check them out because none of this stuff was over $5. I have looked at the City Color website as well, and some of these things are selling the, like the same stuff. For example, this palette was selling on the website for more expensive than I got it at the Five Below store. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Just a little heads up on some of my latest finds. Um, my next video will probably be um, a best in beauty for the month, so some current favorite products. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much, and I'll see you later. Bye.